Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back with another one bringing to you a new video. Today I'm going to be walking you through the process of how to set up your Project X Cloud so you can play Xbox on your mobile phone. We're talking Android, iPhones, any type of device. As long as it's a mobile device that can connect to Wi-Fi, you can definitely connect this up. And I'll show you how to do everything step by step and I'll walk you straight through the process. So let's go and jump right into this video. All right, so first what you want to do, you want to go ahead and type in Xbox X Cloud in your Google search. You want to go ahead and type that in, and then it should be the first search result at the very top, Project X Cloud Preview Xbox. You want to click on that. It'll take you to the Xbox website. Then once we're here, we'll see a number of things. We see stream Xbox games from the cloud, and this will allow us to stream Xbox games directly to our Android phones, whether you got a Samsung, an iPhone, um, any type of mobile device, it'll work on tablets, iPads, um, I believe Android tablets too, it'll work on that as well. And you'll just have to have a strong Wi-Fi connection for this to work and run smoothly. There's uh, 50 plus games that you can access, you got Gears of War, Madden, and then there's a ton more, but I'm going to show you that later on in the video. I'm just going to show you how to participate in this. Basically, you got to sign up for it, and it says here how to participate. First, make sure you have the following. So you need a mobile device, compatible mobile device, Android version 6.0 or greater, and Bluetooth version 4.0. Compatible Xbox controller, you need a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection or mobile data 10 megabits down a 4g lte connection that should work and it has to be steady as well for it to run smooth and then you have to download the app on your phone or the tablet xbox game streaming app preview and it, the icon will look like that once you download it from the play store or the itunes store and then once you have registered here it is right here all right so what you want to do you want to click on this register now button and then when you click on register now, it's going to ask you to sign in or create an account. So if you already have an account, just click on sign in. If you don't have an account, click on create an account. And then when this piece comes up, you just want to click on no account question mark, create one exclamation point. Just click on that to create a new account if you're confused there. And that'll assist you with creating a new account. But if you already have one, same thing, just sign in right here and then it'll advance you in. And then once you have done that, let me go back here. Once you have done that, it says here, we'll send you an email with the next steps. If you've chosen to begin the technical preview, we will send you an acceptance email with the next steps. So just look out for that. It says here though, it may take a few months. It shouldn't take nearly that long because when I signed up for it, it only took maybe if a couple of days to a, a day or so and lately they've been accepting just about anybody so i've seen people get accepted in a couple of hours so definitely sign up if you want to try xbox on your phone and then look out for that email address so make sure you put an email address that you expect to check often so definitely look out for that and then i'll go and download this app and i'll show you what this gameplay experience is like on your mobile phone all right so the items that you'll need today are a mobile phone or a tablet like an ipad any type of mobile tablet or an iphone or an android phone samsung galaxy iphone any type of one of those phones or any other android or iphone and then you'll need an xbox controller and then you'll need a clamp this clamp then connects one to your mobile phone and your Xbox controller. Let me show you. So we put the Xbox controller in here, just like that. We'll tuck it under first and then pop it just like that. Put it on. And then from here, we can mount the mobile phone. If you don't have one of these clamps to where you can mount your Xbox controller onto your mobile phone, this clamp is very inexpensive i believe it was two bucks on amazon but i'll post a link in the description below so you can get one for your xbox controller and mobile phone all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pair my xbox controller with my mobile phone this process is going to be the same on iphones or ipads as well all right so let me walk you through the process on pairing your xbox controller with your phone so you just go to your Bluetooth settings on Android phones 
and then you want to make sure your controller is turned on as well so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on as you can see my con my Xbox controller pairs automatically to my mobile phone because I've already connected it before that's how yours is gonna work as well you'll just turn it on it'll automatically connect once you pair this one time but let me disconnect this just so I can show you how to connect it back so I unpaired it my Xbox controller is blinking now and what I want to go ahead and do is go ahead and pair it again so I'll hit scan on my phone there's a button on the top here where you can put your Xbox controller into a discovery mode and then once you do that you'll see it pop up on your phone as you're scanning for it and there it goes right there under available devices I'm gonna click on that all right and then it vibrates your phone I'm on a note 8 so it vibrates my phone it may not vibrate the iPhone but just keep that in mind so it says pair with Xbox controller I'm gonna click OK we are now paired you'll see this light stop blinking and turn solid all right now I'm gonna go ahead and mount my controller back and then we'll open the Xbox streaming app all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open my Xbox streaming app so this is what it looks like when it first starts out game streaming it almost looks like your Xbox is loading up on your mobile phone that's awesome these are the games that I've recently played so I've recently played Madden I played Gears of War 5 and I'm gonna just scroll through here so you can see all of the games Dead Island they got Destiny they got a mountain bike game they got Dirt 2.0 Forza Horizon I'm just skipping over some games. I'm not naming all of them. There's a wide variety of, of games in here to play, and they're all the full game. That's the end of the list, but as you can see, there's quite a number of them. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into Gears of War 5, just so you can see some gameplay, and then I'll play a number of other games so you can see the gameplay. I don't have to have my Xbox open or turned on at all. This is just all straight through the mobile phone. I just log into it with my my ID the same login that we set up so you log into this app with the same email address and password that you set up earlier in the beginning of this video and also if you wanted to I have these headphones here but you can definitely hook up your Bluetooth headphones that way you can play the game in peace while you're around other people alright so this is Gears of War 5 that I'm playing right here as you can see it's very smooth the graphics are great uh, I have no complaints as far as my first time experience with using uh, Xbox X Cloud on my mobile phone. I haven't tried Stadia or any of the other ones, but this is my first one, so I'm pretty interested to see where the, this cloud gaming movement goes. So uh, if you're interested in definitely checking this out, I definitely recommend it because it was very flawless for me. Very smooth experience, no lag, no delay, nothing. And once again, I am running the Android Note 8, Samsung Note 8, and my internet speed that I do use to play xCloud on my mobile phone, I believe my speed is around 250 megabytes per second, just in case if you were curious what my internet speed was, in case you were experiencing any lag. And this is Madden 20 that I'm playing here. We have the AFC vs. NFC Pro Bowl game. I'm going to run a few plays just so you can kind of get a feel for the experience for Madden. Touchdown. We'll go for this one more time, but this play is open all day long. Again. Touchdown.
in this game is Forza Motorsport. Also, another flawless experience. No lag, no delay. It's just very smooth. It runs very well. Kind of reminds me of the Real Racing 3 from the App Store. But it's definitely 20 times better because it's running from Project X Cloud and it's actually an official Xbox game on the phone. So that's pretty cool. Definitely check this out. Hope you're able to get this installed or at least register so you can begin to participate in Project X Cloud. Definitely let me know if you run into issues. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.